Uh, you know how it is. Dealing with sinus and allergies this spring can be quite the hassle, but there are new ways to lessen symptoms and even ward off infections. How good does that sound? Here to tell us how it works is director of the Sinus Center at Baylor College of Medicine. I'm talking about Dr. Mas Takashima. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for inviting me. Well, here. you have an important word to spread, and I think it's so incredible that you are helping certainly with prevention, but then just basically almost all natural ways that you can do for a good dollar amount in your own home. Absolutely. You know, we at the Sinus Center at Baylor College of Medicine, we're really looking at new ways to treat sinus infections, especially the ones that are chronically recurrent mm -hmm. in nature. Well, and they hurt so bad. Anybody who has them knows you get the pressure in your face and a headache and you just feel terrible. But it, once you, but first of all, you, you say you need to get the proper diagnosis. Make sure that's what it is before you treat at home. Absolutely, because there's so many different things that can cause sinus infections. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're treating the right thing. Okay, so then what is your suggestion yes. for treating at home? Yeah, so two of the many different therapies that we offer here at, at Baylor. One is actually considered, uh, it's called probiotic irrigations, mm -hmm. and the other is actually called baby shampoo irrigations as well. All right, so let's start with probiotics. We hear that we take those to make our gut healthy, but yes. what do we do with it to help our sinuses? Absolutely. So what we've learned is that whenever you take antibiotics, unfortunately, you kill all the good bacteria in the sinuses as well. Mm -hmm. And the good bacteria really prevents the bad bacteria from coming in and causing recurring sinus infections. And so if you can actually, after taking antibiotics, if you can actually reinstill the good bacteria, into the sinuses, then you can prevent recurring sinus infection from, from occurring. So how are you going to do that? So you're saying you actually use a flush using probiotics? Exactly. So you're going to be putting those up your nose? There you go, exactly. <laughs> how do you do that? So it's a little twist on the regular saline irrigations. Uh -huh. What we actually do is we prescribe some probiotics, which patients put into the irrigation bottles, and from there they just irrigate their sinuses. It's a very cost-effective way to actually treat sinus disease. Okay, now I know you can buy probiotics over the counter. You can get them in health food stores. Is this something that you could do on your own and open the capsule or would you prefer yeah. them to actually use a prescription? Yeah, typically we, we usually recommend patients see the physician so that we can actually mm -hmm. put cameras into the nose, make sure that you're treating the right thing because many patients get antibiotics unnecessarily mm -hmm. and that in itself can cause worse sinus infections as well. All right, let's talk about that baby shampoo. I cannot believe this one. This one really surprised me, but it works. Absolutely. And, and we're not talking about blowing bubbles out of the nose or anything <laughs> like that. Oh, darn, that sounds like fun. <laughs> but Melissa, you know, <laughs> Whenever you wash your hands, do you ever wash your hands just with water? Probably not, right? We all are sort of drilled to use soap mm -hmm. to wash our hands. And so the reason why we do that is because the soap actually washes away bacteria very nicely. Mm -hmm. And so the thought is, why don't we actually use that to remove the bacteria that actually resides in our noses? Mm -hmm. Well, so baby shampoo is very mild. We know it's not supposed to sting the, the eyes, so hopefully it doesn't sting your mucous membranes. Yes, exactly, and typically it doesn't. And if it does, we can always scale back a little bit on it. But the nice thing about baby shampoo is, is that bacteria have, have gotten really smart in that mm -hmm. they actually form colonies inside your nose, and then they produce an oily layer to actually prevent uh, regular salt water from flushing it away. Okay, so what's the recipe? How much shampoo yeah. per water? So typically what we recommend is a half a teaspoon and eight ounces of saline. Okay, and so then you would just squirt that up there? there How often? There you go. Typically once a day for, okay. for a couple of weeks. And can this prevent as well you from getting things or do you just yeah. do this once you do have an infection? Typically once you have an infection. Okay. Saline irrigations is great for preventative measures. Well, it seems like a lot of germs set up housekeeping, so to speak, in your nose. Could you use this for a cold and for other problems as well, even the flu, just to keep those germs flushing out? Yeah, typically for flushing out just germs, mm -hmm. typically what we recommend is just saltwater irrigations. Okay. But once you start developing problems, mm -hmm. the uh, baby shampoo irrigations work well. Dr. Takashima, very interesting information Absolutely. you shared with us today. Great. Thanks for coming in from Thanks Baylor. so much. Good Appreciate it.